Hey, what is going on guys? It is Matt here from Easy RGH Mods and Easy Customs. I have a, a uh, new How Do I video. And today's video is going to be How Do I Install Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Now, you guys can do this on a Mac or a uh, PC. If you are going to do this on a Mac, you are going to need some sort of um, VM or uh, VMware or Parallels. I prefer Parallels because it's just simpler, it's easier, more user friendly, while VM, there is um, some more advanced settings, but uh, Parallels has the same thing as well as um, simplicity. So I'm just going to get into it. The first thing what you guys are going to want to do is to make sure that you are on the same network. If you guys are not on the same network, um, now what I mean by this is your... Um, what do you call it, your um, your local network, your router. Um, basically your Xbox has to be connected to your router as well as your computer. Um, it could be Ethernet, wireless. Today I'm going to be using Ethernet because every time I use wireless, for some reason something gets screwed up. Um, so I'm going to be doing Ethernet today, which is probably pretty good. So what I just recommend you guys to do first is to plug in actually i'm gonna go plug in my ethernet cable right now just so for time's sake because every time i do this with wireless it never works correctly so just give me a second here okay so i got that plugged in now what you're going to want to do is have dash launch and i'll make sure i include all of the um uh, links in the description and whatnot. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to load my INI. I'll also put this in the uh, description. So we're going to have some things in there, right? <laughs> okay, so your first plugin needs to be XBDM. And then you guys should know JRPC and XRPC. And then after you have your, um, you know, your XBDM, you guys can search for, you know, it. Um, basically save it to your hard drive now this could be on a flash drive or a hard drive hit x a x a x a i'm going to save it three times just in case and then hit b now after that restart your console and now i'm actually just going to make sure that i am connected um onto my ethernet and let's just make sure this is working then I got everything good. Okay, everything seems fine. I'm just going to wait for that to boot up. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. Also, while that is happening, uh, you guys are also going to need to install uh, Neighborhood. As I said, you guys would need a PC or a... Um, actually, got to reboot that. A PC or a Mac, for Mac, Parallels, for computer, I mean for PC, probably VM. I don't think they have Parallels for PC, they might. And then I'll uh, include this down in the description. You are going to want to have the SDK, uh, which if you just open that, I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll go through the setup with you guys, okay? So you're not totally left out. So after downloading the torrent, downloading... Um, this right here, hit yes, this is the SDK, hit next, hit next, um, I'm, 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 I'm going a little bit fast, so if you guys need to pause it, pause it, um, you know, I'm not trying to rush you, and now full installation, you guys don't need to have minimum installation, I mean, it's minimum, so you gotta have it. But the full installation only works with 2010 Microsoft Visual Studio and 2008. That's if you guys have these installed. It just gives you sort of like more of a um, custom sort of feel. To, not not custom feel, but I think you can start editing some of the XEXs in there. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong, but I think you are able to. And then just wait about a couple seconds. And as you can see here, I'm on the network. That's my... Um, IP so hit me offline. No, I'm just joking. Um, so let's go back here. We'll wait till it's done. 
We'll reboot the console. Okay, just hit finish. Okay, so after that, load up your uh, Xbox 360 neighborhood. And I'm just gonna wait for my console to boot and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, console booted up. Now wait till you're at the dashboard, okay? So I'm just gonna recap what we have done. We have installed the plugin. Uh, as you guys noticed, we have installed the plugin XBDM on from Dash Launch. And we have also installed Xbox 360 Neighborhood on the computer. And now you must be on the same network. Um, so if you guys aren't, it's not going to work unless you, I don't know, have your cable from your Xbox going all the way down to your modem. Or if you have some sort of bridging. Bridging does not work. Um, I've tried this actually. I, I, I think it does. If you take the Ethernet cable from your laptop or computer to your Xbox, I'm pretty sure that will work. Um, it might, but I'm not sure because... Eh, maybe, maybe not. You guys can try it for yourself. I know that's how you get a VPN working, but... Eh. Okay, so after that, uh, just click Add Xbox. And before you actually do that, uh, go to CMD. Now, this might be different from you got for you guys, but um, this right here is the IP. This is actually not correct. Uh, it just does that because it's on. Um, it's a it's a VM, so your IP is going to be different. Um, <coughs> but if you guys want to figure out your actual IP, you know, just go to your actual computer and just type in. No, not CMD. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, terminal. And then just type in ifconfig. Or for PC, it's ipconfig. Um, just go up and then you will see your IP. You really don't need this, but I have a lot of things. Okay, so that's my computer's IP. No, it's not. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so after that, get the IP to your console. Um, now, how you guys will do that, that is either by um, connecting to it, c connecting your uh, Xbox to your router, or by an Ethernet cable. Um, I, I just prefer Ethernet cable. It's simple. I like it. So, I'm going to show you guys. So, what I just did is I go into uh, System. Network settings, wired network, wired, okay, configure network, and then you guys will then see your console IP. Um, so after that, go back into Xbox 360 neighborhood, we have our IP, 192.168.0.12. Now I know for some routers, it's going to be different, if you guys are using, um, a Comcast issued router it's going to be 10.0 point something but most routers are 192.168.1 or point zero um, I think if you have a business router or something like that if it's like an infrastructure it's gonna be 10.9 or something around yeah I mean honestly it could be anything so just keep in mind that yours will be different Click next. Now, if it freezes up, that means it's not the correct IP or you didn't do something correct. Um, now, restart your modem, restart your computer, restart your Xbox. Check to make sure that your Xbox is actually connected to the same network. Also, you you guys are going to want to turn off um, live block. Actually, yeah, just turn off live block, but don't connect to the internet. Um, if you got a stealth server, you're fine. Uh, but just make sure that you, you, you do not connect to the internet when you um, configure your Xbox settings. Um, which I'll leave my launch on down in the uh, description. So you guys, you, 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 you should be good. You should be good. Um, if you guys do download my launch on make sure to have any other plugins that you did have. Um, like let's say you had some GTA 5 menu, be sure to add those in. 
Um, I'll have a video for that later. So you guys are going to want to click yes, click next, click finish, and then you um, you guys should be added. And then it'll be called JTAG. And then you guys will see a bunch of um, other sort of things, uh, drives and whatnot. You got game, you got media. You guys are going to want to just pick whatever. Um, I, I, I'm just going to do hard drive. And so that's basically the whole setup.